The three next generation updates for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt recently released, and that does bring us to the end of support for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Obviously, we can still expect a few patch updates to arrive, but in terms of content, that's about it. Obviously, that's not a bad thing or anything, and that's no hate towards CD Projekt Red. They've done an amazing job with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and it's been around for seven years now, so it's really impressive that they've kept supporting it for this long. But now we have reached the end of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, I think it's interesting to look at the future of The Witcher and CD Projekt Red. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the future of the Witcher series. But just before we do get into all of that, I want to let you guys know about another channel I run. If you are interested in everything related to Rockstar Games, including the Red Dead Redemption series and Grand Theft Auto series, I have another channel where I cover everything related to that, and a link to that channel can be found in the description below. So please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content just like this. Let's get into it. So to be able to talk about the future of The Witcher, I think a good idea is to head over to the CD Projekt Red strategy update that we recently got earlier in 2022. So let's go take a look at that now. So here is this CD Projekt Red strategy update. Let's actually zoom in a bit here so we can get a better look. And this goes over sort of, you know, CD Projekt Red's plans for the future and how things have gone so far. Obviously here we can see that The Witcher 1, Witcher 2 and The Witcher 3 Wild Time have sold over 65 million copies, which is really impressive. And I have no doubt that that's increased since the release of this next generation version, since that's brought a lot of new people to the game. Obviously with Cyberpunk got over 20 million, which is really impressive for just the one game. But obviously today we're going to be focusing on The Witcher side of things. Now as you can see here, they've started parallel AAA development. So this does mean that, you know, they're working on more than one AAA game at once. So, you know, it's clear that they've ramped up their ambitions for the gaming industry. So, obviously, you know, we get a bit here about their approach and how they like to do things. And this is a bit of an interesting thing here. So they start with video games, they then go into TV and film. And then they create mobile games, books and comics, and then partnership and merchandise. And they go back and create new video games. And that's sort of what they've done with every game. We see this so clearly with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We get The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt release. Obviously, we got The Witcher Netflix series, which works really well. And it brought so many new players to the game since you know they watch the series they're like oh there's actually games on this they you know they go over to their console and they buy the game and they play that and then obviously we have mobile games there are some mobile witch games out there we had the witch and monster slayer obviously it didn't go too well as the support is ending for that but still you know it was cool that there were some mobile games that were out and obviously there's loads of books related to the witcher series we all know about that and there's loads of merchandise that you can get and they've partnered with many games i recently did a video going over their partnership with fortnite i'll link that video in the description below so you can go check it out but that's an example of one of their partnership and obviously we can see that this all works really well together you know it creates a nice cycle and i have no doubt we'll see this with future witcher games and we see it with cyberpunk 2077 as well and see here we've even got a picture of the edge runner series which went really really well and obviously down here you know uh, we sort of get on to stuff about the phantom liberty dlc and i've done a video going over that links to that video can be found in the description if you're interested and obviously here we have the witcher projects now this is what i wanted to talk about in this video so here we have project sirius an innovative take on the witcher universe telling an unforgettable story for existing witcher fans and new audiences and this is currently in its pre-production stage and this is developed by the molasses flood supported by cd project red and there's currently over 60 employees involved so this is one of the Witcher projects at the moment. So this is having a new take on the Witcher universe. So this will be set in the sort of fantasy world of the Witcher. And it's going to have an unforgettable story for the existing Witcher fans and new audiences. So what this could mean is that the story will sort of intertwine with the saga we already have. But then also obviously it's there for the new audiences. So sort of my guess would be that there'll be a new story. Yeah, we'll also be getting, you know sort of some parts of existing stories sort of taken into that maybe some characters from previous games will be put into this one but it'll be a new storyline i think that's what we could expect here but obviously this is in the pre-production stage and yeah that's all we really know about that so here we go this is the witcher 4 basically here we have project polaris here polaris sorry a story driven open world rpg built on the legacy of the witcher 3 wild hunt this is currently in its pre-production stage and is de developed by cd project red's team with over 150 employees involved already and this is the beginning of a new witcher trilogy all three games aim to be delivered within a six year period following the release of this game so that's insane obviously this is the announcement of the witcher 4 that we got a while ago they basically said that you know the next game in the witcher series is in development or at least it's in its pre-production stage as we see here now this is the only image we have to go off we do know this is going to be in the new unreal engine which is really really cool to see and it's nice to see that you know we're getting a whole new game and a whole new saga really so it's obviously built off of the legacy of the witcher 3 wild time which was a massively successful rpg game so it's nice to see that they're going to be sort of continuing that 
but they're going to be, you know, making a completely new saga. Now, obviously, it's important to remember that this is still in its pre-production stage, so I'd say the earliest we could expect anything on this is probably 2025, maybe, maybe a trailer or some sort of cinematic trailer in 2024, but I wouldn't expect anything soon, as at the moment, you know, the next generation version of The Witcher 3 World Hunt just released, so yeah, you can't really expect anything massive to happen yet. Obviously, we've got this little image here, which is cool, you know, it looks really detailed, and the graphics look amazing, but that's all we have at the moment, but it's nice to see, you know, some reassurance that this isn't the end of The Witcher trilogy and it is continuing now it might not be called the witcher 4 obviously we just got the project's name at the moment but it might might be called something else it might you know start the beginning of a new witch series it might go back to the witch of one in a way but you know obviously it's a new saga but it might just be called the witcher 4 and then obviously we'll have something at the end of it like we see with wild hunt so here we have another witcher project but this is called project canis mahoris and i probably you know butchered that pronunciation but whatever so this is a story driven single player open world rpg set within the witcher universe this is contracted to be developed by a third party studio led by ex witcher veterans so obviously this isn't even in any stage of development yet it's very just sort of the planning at the moment really and they're not really doing anything related to this at the moment other than there's been contracts is that contracts that have been signed now this is another open world rpg set within the witcher universe and it's possible that we see here that there's going to be three games within a six year period which i think to be honest i think that's absolutely ridiculous and insane and i'd be so impressed if they actually managed to pull that off i just struggle to believe that, that could actually happen i just think that you know if they're going to go into more detail than they did with the witcher 3 world hunt i struggle to see unless they're you know pretty much all ready at the same time and all developed you know to be the you know they're all fully developed at the same time then i struggle to see how they could all be released within a six year period i think that's just a very very ambitious goal but you know if it does then that's amazing and we're probably you know we'll be getting one every three years basically if that was to the, the case but either way we are getting another story driven single player open world rpg set within the witch universe and to be honest this sounds exactly like this and the fact this is built on the legacy of the witcher 3 world hunt and it's possible that this will be built you know on the witcher 4 so maybe this will be like the witcher 5 or something like that but obviously i don't even think the cd project red know much about this yet but either way, then there is, you know, some information here about Cyberpunk, which obviously that's not related to The Witcher, but basically the sequel to Cyberpunk 2077 is, you know, is planned to be developed by, uh, by developers there. And obviously here we have expanding with a third IP project. Now this is going to be a new standalone IP distinct from The Witcher and Cyberpunk 2077. This isn't really related to The Witcher, but it could, you know, there could be some cool Easter eggs with The Witcher inside of this, which I think is pretty cool. And obviously, you know, we have no idea about what this can involved but it's cool to see that that's an idea of theirs and here obviously we have the it's sort of an overlook at the sort of conclusion of everything and now here are the three witcher games being worked on at the moment i feel like if we go back up here i feel like this is sort of going to be separate from these two i can consider this these two here these two products being part of that six year period and i feel like this one's not going to be within that six year period as it's you know, it's sort of in the Witch universe, but it seems like it's different from these. And they haven't even called this an open world RPG. So it'll be interesting to see how this works. It could be a card game or something like that, or some sort of linear story. We'll have to see how that works. But either way, there, you know, we've got this sort of the main three Witcher products they're working on. And at the moment, obviously, there are three, and that's everything we know about. I doubt there's been anything since this has released, since this is still pretty new. So yeah, I find it highly unlikely for there to be anything else. Now, this was made just before the release of the next generation version of the witcher 3 wild hunt but obviously these are going to be their main focus now now that that has released there'll be a couple patch updates but generally the development team for the witcher 3 wild hunt is practically going to be all moving towards these three new projects but there we go i thought it was just cool to do a video looking at what cd project red have planned for the future of the witcher series i would love to hear your thoughts on this down in the comments below personally i'm really looking forward to these three games obviously they're going to be a long way off yet but it'll be all cool to see how all of this turns out so if you did enjoy this video please be sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content just like this i'll see you in the next one peace